Welcome back to the exchange. Stocks are pulling back somewhat today after the S&P and Nasdaq both clocked record highs yet again after June's cooler than expected CPI print. And one of Wall Street's biggest bears finds himself in the bullish camp and has for a while, calling for S&P 6,000 by year end. But could uncertainty surrounding President Biden and the election or any number of geopolitical risks derail this rally? Let's ask Brandon Yarkin. He's the chief operating officer at Universa, the tail risk hedge fund advised by Black Swan author Nassim Nicholas Taleb, who's also been on this program. Brandon, it's good to have you here. Welcome. Thank you for having me, Kelly. So let me try to put explain, as I understand, you can correct me where I'm wrong. Instead of doing kind of 60-40 traditional portfolio diversification, you guys look at basically you stay long, but you have this, you know, hedged exposure against cataclysmic market Events. I mean, do I have it kind of correct? That's very good as a as a summary. And 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 again, most people when they think about the forty in their portfolio, what purpose is it serving? Mm -hmm. Right, the forty bonds, in their portfolio. Right. Yeah. Let's say it's bonds. Let's say it's. I mean, sure you have people on here that you know espouse other strategies like hedge funds and CTAs and things like that. But at the end of the day, it's risk mitigation. Right. It is meant to protect you against these cataclysmic events in the same way that tail hedging is meant to protect against these cataclysmic events. But what you find is that the things that you're using to protect yourself against the event is more costly than the event itself. Right. This, right. That, the cure it, should not be worse than the disease. A lot of people like experience this right now with literally auto insurance and home insurance. They go, it's, at some point, I'd rather be uninsured if it costs too much. So just back up for a second. What is tail hedging? So tail hedging is essentially making sure that in these large losses, these big, large market declines, that your portfolio does not lose significant amounts of money. And how do you do that? Uh, we do it through option strategies, mm -hmm. right? So we have highly explosive convex positions that when things are going good, you know, like I said, we've been bullish since 2022. We've been reiterating this kind of bullish tactical call. But... You know, our forecast of markets doesn't matter at the end of the day because we have such a highly explosive position should you know, the, the eventual black swan happen. And that position's not too expensive to, to carry over a long period of time? It's, again, it's a, it's a good question, and it's a matter of framing. If, if we have a position where our cost is more than the disease that we're trying to protect against, and you shouldn't have it on. Um, we argue that, again, most financial products are in that camp, but our cost at a portfolio level, if we never see a crash again, right, the market goes up like it has been this year mm -hmm. and in 2023 and it has for 15 years forever and the Fed does its job and prevents market crashes, it doesn't mean that our strategy was the wrong investment strategy. Sure. You have to think about what portfolio do I have that is tail hedging in it versus a 60-40, and how do those portfolios do as the market rises, and how do they do in the market? One more question in this, in this vein, I want to kind of broaden it out, but is it worth paying a fund like yours to provide this strategy when a lot of retail investors, as they've gotten more sophisticated, could probably do something like this themselves? That's a great question. Um, I would highly encourage retail investors to not try to replicate mm. strategies like this. Um, and the devil really is in the details when you when it comes to options, and particularly options are very high transactional cost instruments. So, you know, if you're looking at options, they could be, you know, several hundred percent wide bid ask spreads. You know, imagine if, you know, Google, you know, traded, it, Google trades in, in dollars, right? Fractions of basis points. This is hundreds of, of, of uh, times, right, equivalent. Mm -hmm. So, you definitely do not want to do this on your own. Um, I think that our real focus in, in, in trying to educate people on things like what the 40 is doing in your portfolio is how expensive it is and be aware of right. all of these forecasts, the Biden election, right. the uh, all of these other different macro positions that you're in and the decisions that you're making cumulatively over time and so, how that affects your returns.